After the fall of Adam and Eve, sin and death entered the world. People lived in the fear and darkness of sin and death, with no light of truth. As God began to reveal Himself, the law shed light on sin and the absolute truth of God. Jeremiah, understanding the reality of God, lamented the persecution he would have to endure, but could not deny the absolute truth of God. The psalmist, in the same way, spoke of being outcast and shamed, but acknowledged God's great mercy. Their hope was in that truth of the promises of God. In our Gospel reading, Jesus said, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Jesus was preparing the apostles to live in the light and the fullness of truth and understanding, which was about to come. He was preparing them for persecution, ridicule, and death of the body, but to fear nothing of this world. Jesus was telling the apostles to fear nothing but the consequences of sin and death of the soul. They should proclaim the truth and reality of God to all without fear. They should proclaim the fullness of truth when all things are revealed. The light of Christ will illuminate all sin and all secrets previously hidden in the darkness and point the way to everlasting life in the Father. After the death and resurrection of Christ and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, all things have been revealed. We now live in the light of Christ and the fullness of truth. As the apostles went out and proclaimed Christ for all to hear, we too should do the same. So what are we afraid of? In this world and in life, there are many concerns that are real. Concerns over employment, health, safety, well-being of friends and family, the political climate, and the lack of moral value, and the list goes on. If we lose sight of Christ, we can easily spin those concerns into fear. We keep the whispers of our faith in the darkness. We must live our faith in the light. If we stand on the truth, if we live the truth, and speak the truth, we should fear nothing but sin and the severing ourselves from God's love. By living our faith in Christ and proclaiming the kingdom of God, we too are speaking from the housetops. Belief in the truth fosters faith. Faith in the truth fosters trust. Trust in the truth fosters love. The love of God and the trust of His promises. This should give us hope, not in this world, but in the world to come. Hope in Christ's victory over death. So, what are we afraid of? It is, our, is it our lack of faith or our lack of trust? For quite a few years, I had what I believed was a trust issue with God. I would let the worldly concerns dictate my actions. When things didn't work out the way I had planned, my concerns turned to fear. I would plead God for His help. I was telling God how to do His job. My will, not thine, be done. I would push through my fears in darkness, and only after coming into the light would I see the hand of God's help and mercy. I realized it wasn't a trust issue as much as it was a patience issue. I could proceed with my endeavors without fear if I would surrender my will to His will, that's trust, and let things unfold in God's time, that's patience. The apostles trusted Jesus, but while still in the darkness, hid in fear at His crucifixion. They were not patient to let things unfold in God's time, letting fear dictate their actions. After Jesus' resurrection, all things came to light. In the light, their fears were alleviated as they lived and spoke the truth. The world is full of people who choose to live in darkness and fear people who will try to ridicule you and shame you. Choose to live in the light 
by living and speaking the truth of Christ so that others may see the light as well, bringing them out of the darkness. So what are you afraid of? Live in the light of Christ. Be not afraid. <laughs>